Okay, let's get started creating this um, image gallery. So what I've done is I've backed up my um, code on my keyframe to this frame over here, and I've also copied on to this frame over here the TLF text box, right? And I deleted the instance name from it. Okay. Um, also, if you go back to the action script code on the gallery and you look at the actions, you'll see that all the action script is gone because I copied and pasted the frame and put it over here. I just did a right click copy frame and then what I did was a right click over here and paste frame. So action script's gone so we're gonna we're start from scratch. Also um, the uh, elements that were on here, the four elements, the uh, the loader, the movie clips, the four movie clips or the three movie clips and the TLF text box have all been deleted from the stage and what I did was if you go into the library you can do a window library right window library control L right and this is the library here I've put those movie clips I deleted them from the stage and I've dropped them here into a backup um, folder in my library and I even changed the name to back and I deleted the instance names of any of the movie clips inside of there in case there was one that I had to delete. So I've got a backup in case we need to um, go back and mess things up. So I've got those on the stage. I mean I've got those in my library backed up. So now we can create everything from scratch right here. And that's what we're going to do now. Okay so we have no movie clips here and we have no code so we're starting from scratch. The first thing we're going to work on is the loader MC movie clip with the UI loader component inside of that movie clip. All right. So that's what we're going to start with first. All right. Now for that what we're going to do is we're going to go to window components and inside of the components window these are the flash components under the user interface folder you'll see the UI loader and what we can do is just click and drag and drop that right onto the stage alright and this is the user interface loader component a component is kind of like a movie clip but it can take parameters you see it has it has properties that it's been um, programmed to receive values for right and so now we have the component on the stage now this component in the previous example in the code it had the name loader so I'm going to change the instance name of it to loader right notice I have it selected then I put in the instance name then I hit enter to make it take if I deselect and then reselect it um, you'll see that the name shows up here in the instance window under the property window right notice when I select the background I don't select anything because I have those layers locked except for the layer I'm working on. Now, another thing here, when I select it, look what layer got highlighted, my actions layer. So I've got it pasted on the wrong layer. So I'm going to cut it, control X, and paste it on the keyframe where I want it. Paste. Okay. Control V paste. So there it is. Now to get a sense for how big it's going to be, I'm going to change the size. So now yours might be locked. The size is going to be 620. Notice when I change the width of it to 620, the height also changed. So I'm going to unlink those, and the height will be, I think, 413, right? So that's how big the images are going to be in my image gallery, right? And so I just set the width and the height of this component to match how big the images are actually going to be, to get a sense of it. Okay, now this component, this flash component loader, needs to be inside of a movie clip. So what I'm going to do is select it. Notice I'm deselect, select, deselect, select. All right, so I select it, my selection tool, modify, convert to symbol, right? And I'm going to call it loader MC, right? Same as the instance name that I'm going to give it. And it's going to be a movie clip, not a button, movie clip. Registration point, upper left-hand corner. That's perfect. Click OK, right? 
and now if I select it you'll see it says instance of loader MC and now I'm going to name it loader capital M C lowercase C hit enter and now so when you select it deselect select you should see the instance name so now our first element is in place it's a movie clip called loader MC if I was to double click on it I'll go inside the movie clip notice here scene one movie clip loader MC I'm now inside this loader MC I'm in symbol editing mode and this deselect select deselect select this is a uh, component UI loader with the instance name loader I'll go back to scene one and now I'm back in scene one and there's my movie clip so in other words nested elements right there is a component nested inside of this movie clip time for the next element okay the next element is going to be the movie clip to hold our thumbnails so if we look at our my little notepad guide here we need a movie clip that we're going to name uh, thumb holder the instance name is going to be thumb holder right well to do that what I'm going to do is I'll just right here I will notice I'm on the correct layer correct keyframe where I want to place this right here okay we're good um, I'm just gonna create a rectangle I don't want a stroke I just want I'll, I'll green is fine and I'll make the color green and I'll just create a little box here right this is gonna be a placeholder box okay eventually I'm gonna make this completely transparent to uh, do it partially I'll select it right I'll go here to the color chip go over here to alpha and I'll alpha it down to let's say 15 percent just to show you that eventually we're gonna take it and make it clear right so there it is just leaving it slightly colored so that we can see it so this is just a rectangle with a fill no stroke alright there's the rectangle tool fill no stroke okay so I'm gonna select it modify convert to symbol movie clip and this is going to be thumb capital H holder I just using the same name for the movie clip as the instance name that I'm gonna use right so there it is I have it selected now select it and then put in the instance name thumb holder capital H alright hit enter to make sure it takes. When you select it, you should see that instance name. All right, so there's element number two. Okay, time for element three. Element three is going to be our image text movie clip for the text that changes with the images. And so we're gonna actually just do the same thing really quickly here. What I'll do is, is I'll get that text tool again. I mean, not text tool, I'm gonna get this rectangle tool and I'll draw my little square where my text is gonna go. All right, so that's just a rectangle. Select it and modify, convert to symbol. And this one's called image text. So I'm going to name it image text, right? Movie clip, not button, not graphic, movie clip, upper left hand corner registration, click OK, right? And now this thing is going to be named. image capital T text all right beautiful now for our troubleshooting box our troubleshooting box is going to be called output text and that's going to be easy too. we just get our text tool here and TLF text and not myriad pro I'm gonna go with sans and 18 point is fine the color I'm gonna make um, let's say black but I want the color to be alpha a hundred percent let's see here there we go and I'll change it to black right and sans 18 points black and I'm just going to click and drag this TLF text box right and the name we want to give it is output text so it's selected and I'll just say output capital T 
text, right? Hit enter. So it takes. Also, I want to make sure the alignment in it is to align left. So it's already set paragraph alignment left, so that's fine, right? If you don't have any of these collapsed or open, you're going to look under um, paragraph and alignment when you have it selected. So output text. So now I have the four elements in place. There are a few other things that I'm going to need to edit for these elements, specifically for this um, movie clip right here, but we can do that in the next movie.